Hi guys, so it's time for a very exciting video that I haven't done in many many years. It's a what's in my bag video. I love doing my what's in my bag videos and I used to do them quite often but then I feel like people got bored, I got bored and I thought why not do um, a different what's in my bag. This is what's in my carry on bag because I'm going on a trip in the next three hours. <music> Okay, so I am going to Singapore uh, this evening and you guys will probably watch this video by the time I'm back but uh, this is my carry-on bag. So this is a Michael Kors bag that my sister gifted me. You guys have seen me use it quite a bit. Now, one thing I like to do with my carry-on bag, like my handbag is a big bag because I like to stuff everything in it. I also like to kind of like take a black bag because I feel like it's universal and it goes with most things on my trip. Like I avoid using a colorful bag because then I have to match my clothes to it and whatever, it's just easier. So this one is black and white, which is pretty classic and you know, it has a long strap, short strap. It's functional, fits a lot of stuff, so it's perfect. I will also show you some alternatives, uh, however. Uh, you guys have seen my black earlier coach bag that I take the classic one. I have also this coach bag, uh, which is smaller in size, but big enough because it's quite deep when you look at it. Um, so yeah, a lot of my older black bags I like to take when I like travel. Also, I don't like to take very new bags when I travel because I feel like uh, when you put them through the x-ray machines and you know, they come on those rollers and whatever, there's a chance they get scratched and damaged and also you don't want to be like oh my god where am i putting my bag all of that like i'm not that person i like a rough and tough bag when i travel so i usually use an older black bag um also guys in addition to this obviously i always have a strolley which has like my equipment my laptop all that so that will not be in my handbag ever because i like to carry a strolley because i'm always i always have like my camera a mini tripod uh, laptop, uh, iPad, all of those things and that is not going to fit in here and I also don't like to carry on my shoulders. So Okay, so first up, we have a neck pillow. Just got this. Um, now, this is something I usually carry if I'm going uh, to be in economy or premium economy. Honestly, if I'm flying business, I don't usually carry it because it's usually a flat bed and they give you like a pillow and all of that. Uh, but yeah, I have kept it also today to show you guys because it's something I would keep. Or if I'm just hanging at the airport and I want to sleep, especially for night flights, I somehow like to have my own pillow. I feel like it's more hygienic. You know what I mean? So uh, this is something that I would carry. As you can see, it's quite a deep bag. There's lots of jaga and that's why I have picked this bag for this trip because I don't have a lot of time and I didn't want to take my other bag. Then we have a bag in a bag. What do I mean by a bag in a bag? So I also have this smaller coach, uh, you know, sling, which I, is my uh, which is my staple now. So I, what I do is I always keep like a smaller bag or a bum bag in my big bag, um, even now, like this is in my bigger bag. So either I take this bag or I take that bag. So once I reach the destination, if I don't really want to use the bigger bag, I can just swap to this, you know, for that. So this has all my cards, a um, little bit of money. Uh, also take something that has multiple pockets because when you travel, you want to kind of have different pockets for your um, receipts, your cards, your money, all of that. Then we have some staples that I always carry. So we have my uh, plate in from Benefit, a Burt's Bees lip balm. You guys know I can't live without this. Some sanitizer, which I feel is important when you're traveling because like you want to use it even though COVID and stuff is like not that hectic right now. I always have it in my bag. And this because I feel like my lips are always dry, especially when I'm traveling. This is for tint so that there's some color. So I usually put that then put this over. This really helps because then if you don't want to keep looking at your big bag for everything or carting your big bag around, you can just swap to this. So something like this or something like this, like, uh, you know, a bum bag, which you can use as a bum bag or a sling, whatever. Uh, a decent size with lots of pockets. That should be your bag in a bag. What else is coming out? Mints. I don't usually have a lot of mints. Like lately, I haven't been having a lot of mint. But when I travel, especially I need it because very often you sleep on a flight and you don't brush your teeth each time or you're sitting next to someone, you're talking to them. 
uh, at airports uh, and you don't want to have bad breath. I at least don't want to have bad breath, so I always have mints. Up next, we have your passport, which is obviously a must for anyone traveling internationally. If you're not traveling internationally, you don't need it or you'll need some ID, I guess. So another tip I want to give you guys is always carry two forms of ID. So I didn't show you guys my card slot because it has my cards and I thought that's like confidential and I should not show you that. But it also has my driver's license, which is my spare ID. Um, and when I go there, what I do is I tend, I don't carry my passport everywhere. I put my passport in the safe at the uh, hotel and then I just keep that ID with me. So that really helps. So if you lose, get, you know, you lose one ID, you still have another. Then, 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 then we have a clip just in case you want to clip stuff, uh, a hair tie, a clip, anything. I don't usually tie my hair a lot right now. Uh, but I just feel like it's important to have something because then if everything is in your main luggage when you need it, you don't have it. So yeah, just a clip. Then we have something very important, a pen. Okay, so why a pen? Now, I feel like everybody should have a pen when you travel because if you're filling like immigration forms or I don't know, like and then you're using those pens that 50 people have used or you're waiting in line to use a pen. It's always faster when you have your own pen. So whenever I travel, I always have a pen. AirPods and obviously your phone. Uh, my phone is charging right now, so you will not see that. But obviously you need your phone. And I would say any kind of headphones are great because you have to use them on a flight if you're watching stuff, unless you're using like in-flight entertainment. Uh, but if you want to do stuff on your phone, work. Very often I like to edit and stuff. So I like to have my AirPods always. Then something very important. Now, what is this little blob? This, my friends, is an air tag. Now, um, this is like the Apple tracker thingamajig, uh, which I pop into all my bags when I travel now. And I love it. I love to see how my bag is traveling and where my bag is. So I put one into my main suitcase and I put one into my handbag always because uh, when you're traveling, there's a chance someone might steal your bag or, you know, whatever, ovari, 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 it's not going to happen to me, but uh, it's always nice to have an air tag to kind of track it. Um, and uh, it's really, really handy. So if you don't have air tags, I would really recommend buying a set of two, three, because this is really, really handy if you travel quite a bit. Then we have some masks. The reason I have masks is because I feel like different countries have different like uh, rules and regulations and sometimes they're like you have to wear a mask on a flight. Sometimes uh, I don't know the scene honestly, but I just feel like it's important to have them post COVID. I feel like I will always have masks in my bag now because I feel like it's an important thing to have. Also, if you fall sick or something, it's always nice to have. So you're not like infecting other people and you can just put it on if you're feeling uneasy or unwell. Another bag in a bag. Now, what is this? It's a foldable, tiny uh, bag. Basically, this bag will become an actual tote. Uh, the reason I carry this is it's really light. I used to have another one years ago, which was an even lighter one, which, which was like a I think Queensland tourism bag, which I had got years ago. Um, the reason I like this is because when you're like shopping and stuff like that, and supposing I'm carrying this bag uh, and I can't fit anything into this bag, I don't want to carry a lot of bags. I can just open this bag out and then just put stuff in it, you know. And I find this uh, very handy, especially when you're shopping at the airport. This is not just for the trip, but like when you buy duty free stuff and whatever, and then they give you 50 bags and you have to handle those bags in your hand along with your strolly or along with your bag and it's just like you've got like 20 bags this way you can put everything into one bag and just sling it on along with your handbag and just mosey on next two items are very important wipes and surface sanitizer now these are really important i feel when you're traveling especially on a flight there are zillions of germs every everywhere uh, this is great if you want to spray your tray table or anything around. Uh, it's just a surface spray. And I mean, even if it's just for your mental satisfaction, that's great. This is great because I feel like if you can't wash your hands or in whatever way, even when you travel, this is not just for the airport and flight and stuff. I usually keep these in my bag uh, when I travel. I like to have wipes. It's really handy. And yeah, can't live without these. Next, travel perfume. Of course, there are size restrictions with perfumes. So you can't carry like your bigger bottles on a flight. This is the Chance by Chanel Travel Edition. So it adheres to the travel size. It's really light. It's really handy. And it's nice to keep in your handbag. So I don't really have to then, you know, bother with removing perfume, keeping perfume. I can just take it on flight. And also, like you want to smell good on the flight, right? So last two items, guys. Bag is khali. 
Uh, I'm gonna put this down here. These are my shades. Um, I just feel like I don't like to ever pack my shades in my main luggage because I feel like they're gonna break. So I would usually keep my shades in my um, like handbag. And also, I feel like when you land early morning, sometimes when you're looking like a mess, this just really helps. Then we have this pouch. You guys probably think like I've got like a zillion pouches in this bag and why do I have so many pouches? Well, I need a lot of stuff, okay? So this is like my medicines and essentials and I will show you guys what is inside. Uh, but yeah, there are a few things that you need to have at all times when you travel, okay? Um, a lot of meds. So these are all basics, Dolo, Disprin, Imodium, all of that. Uh, like alcohol swabs for if you get cut or you want to sanit like clean the area or the wound always need band-aids when you whether you get shoe bites or whatever um and yeah that's another band-aid then um i also have some other stuff i always have a tampon uh in case you get your period uh, a bobby pin i also keep a safety pin but on flights they don't allow a safety pin so i remove it for the flights but a bobby pin just in case you need a bobby pin who doesn't need a bobby pin <laughs> i also have um a lip balm type lipstick so i'm not someone that i wear like i don't really wear lipstick regularly but i like to keep this one i keep like a neutral shade like this uh just for if you really really feel like oh my god i'm looking like a wreck and i really need more than my lip balm <laughs> i would add some lipstick that's like sos and it's always in my bag um the other thing i like to keep is passport size photos now when you travel sometimes they ask you for photos at uh, your immigration or in i don't know in various places it's always expensive at the airport it's always nice to have them handy with you um so yeah that's the last pouch that i have which is in my bag so guys that's all the stuff in my carry-on bag um i hope this video helps you if you're traveling or if you just want to carry these things otherwise also regularly in your handbag i carry most of them i think 80 90 percent of them are my regulars and yeah i am really looking forward to my trip and to getting you lots of content from your trip so if you guys like the video give it a thumbs up uh comment below with what's in your carry-on bag maybe i can add some things from you guys see you guys bye